Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, today I really want to play with some stuff that I got for my birthday. Uh, that video is already up, I will link it down below. Uh, but as I mentioned, I got the uh, Misha Lu Witchcraft palette. I think this looks absolutely gorgeous. And I want to play with it today. I've already done my base because I haven't found a good eye primer yet. And when I do my base first, I have foundation and concealer on top of my lid. So that's kind of a good base for me. Um, but today's base is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. The um, concealer and defined concealer from Revolution. I have the RC Mano color powder on, uh, the Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in Auburn for my brows. Um, my contour is actually Smog from Makeup Store, and my bronzer is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, and then my blush is Becca Mineral Blush in Flower Child that looks like this, and this beautiful glow that you see is. Um, rose quartz and also pearl from also from Beck Cosmetics. So here you have um, rose quartz and here you have pearl. So that is all, that is what's on my face today. Um, so if you want to see me do a eye makeup look with the Witchcraft palette, then please just keep on watching. I have zoomed you in a little bit. Um, as I said, this is the uh, Witchcraft palette. Uh, that looks like this. It has green shades and some berry purples. And I will actually actually do a purple look today. And I might put some green on my under eyes. Um, I need to change my battery. So let me do that and clear my nose a bit. And I'll be right back. Yeah, I've changed my battery and also uh, got some nasal spray. And I have a glass of Pepsi Max. Anyway, the Misha Lou palette. Um, um, I think this palette looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm curious to see how it works on my eyes. Um, they all have names. And I've already shown you this, but it looks like this. So I'm just going to take... Hmm. I think I want to take the shade Wand, which is a brownish color, uh, in my crease. So I'm just taking my Morphe M433. Um, I haven't even swatched this, so I'm not sure how they perform. Oh, this was a bit dark, but hella pigmented. It has a purple shade, it has some purple in it because once I put it on my eye it looks a bit purple, not only brown. I'm going to take an even fluffier brush and just buff that in. I haven't done my eye makeup in two weeks because I've had problems with my eyes. Um, it's not over yet, but but I can't I I can't wait any longer to play with this because I've had this for like two weeks now. That's why that video is a bit late. The one with the oh, I explain it all in the what I got for my birthday, but. So I'm just taking that same fluffy brush and I'm just going to take that shade Spellbook which is a little bit more of a lighter brownish color and I just want to place that here so it might get a little bit easier to blend. Taking some more of that wand shade which was the first shade we used. 
I used and just blending in some more because it got quite blended away. I don't have any fallout so far, which is good. The pigmentation on these shades are really good. Um, I think this palette looks absolutely stunning. Um, I, I mentioned this is all, in this in almost every video, but I'm so happy I discovered indie makeup. There we go, now that that is all blended and looking good, I'm going to use two shimmer shades. First I'm going to go in with this pentagram shade and then I'm going, going to go in with to this magic shade. And um, as per usual I, I'm not going to start with Fix Plus, I'm just going to press it on. And the darker shade I'm using on half of my lid. And it looks gorgeous, but I think this looks even more gorgeous if it's sprayed, so I might do that as well. Taking some Fix Plus I have some fallout now um, from the shimmer shade before I sprayed it so I will get rid of that in just a second Um, it looks a bit weird now because, yeah, uh, I'm going to take the magic shade on a flat brush. This looks dirty, but it's not. And this I will spray right away. I think this shade has a dual comb shift to it. Absolutely gorgeous. And I tried to place them so that they meet each other. And this, I'm placing this a little bit on top of the other one. And I try to blend them a bit together. This has a bluish green shift to it. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. I I can't stop staring at it. It looks it looks pretty in the pan, but there it is. But once you get it on the on the lid, my god. So as I mentioned, I'm just trying to blend this together.
getting rid of some of some more fallout and getting stuck in my hair. <coughs> now it looks like this. I'm going to go back in with um, with the fluffy brush and just try to blend it a bit. And then actually taking that wand shade we used, the, f the first shade we used, and just taking a little bit on the outside and then going back in with the fluffy brush. There we go. I'm uh, quite satisfied with how it looks. I just need to do something to my under eyes. So I'm actually going to take I will try this. I will take the shade Potion, which is a light green one on a fluffy uh, pencil brush and yeah just smudge that along my lower lash line I always do this I forget to go in with a darker shade and blend it out with the lighter shade. I always go in with the lighter shade first because that's what I do on my upper lids. Anyway, uh, taking Cauldron, which is the other green shade here that is matte, uh, on another brush and blend that in together. I want a shimmer on my lower lashes as well, so I'm taking the shade Crescent, which is that one. <laughs> and concentrating that as close to my lashes as possible. And also dragging it along my nose, apparently. I will fix that because now I just ruined it, my foundation. Okay, inner corner highlight. Should I go in with a pink one or a green one? There is a uh, green duochrome in this. It's called the White Witch. It looks absolutely stunning in the pan. I don't know if you can see it. Um, here it is. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. I will try to take that one. Um, on my inner corners, but I might fail. No, it totally worked. I'm also dragging it a bit onto my lower lash. Or under my eyes, I mean. Um, there we go. I'm just going to clean up some things and I'll be right back. I just added some mascara and the one I'm using right now is the um, Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes one. And I also um, did put on a lip stick. This is the Tarte Tartist Lip Paint in the color Birthday Suit. Um, I see now that it has separated a bit in the container, but it doesn't uh, smell bad or anything, so... Um, this is how the look turned out. 
I'm super happy. I think it looks great. Um, if you use this palette, I suggest you do your eye makeup before you do your base. Because now I have some dark um, fallout right here uh, that I can't get to um, disappear. But as you know, I'm wearing glasses, so hopefully my glasses will um, mask that. Um, and they are dirty as well, so I will go clean them first. But I love the look of this and I actually do, based on my first impression, I love the Misha Lou palette. Um, I mean, look at that. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, you will see more looks with this in the fu future, I promise, because this was an amazing palette. I want to do a green eye with it, of course. Um, um, that duochrome green shade is stunning also that magic shade is stunning um, but anyway um, thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully my eyes doesn't tear up too much during the day I, I'm not wearing any eyeliner or any liner in my eyes just because this eye has been a bit irritated lately anyway Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please g don't <laughs> can't speak. If you like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until I make another video, you guys please take care. Bye.